Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora, and we're at the National Publicity Summit with Dave Taylor. Dave, take it away. <laughs> Will, hello. <laughs> uh, I'm a video game producer. Uh, thanks for having me on here. Wonderful. So, okay, so let me see. I have to catch up with some of the things that, uh, um, that, that everyone who plays video games knows about. Like, you know, I have a 22-year-old who loves video games. So tell me everything that I should know as a mom of a 22-year-old and video games. Well, um, you shouldn't worry about violence in video games. Uh, this is the uh, constant sort of fear I hear from moms. It's like, oh my god, they're learning, they're playing these horrible violent video games. We've had violence in the media for since Shakespeare, you know, uh, sleeping with moms, killing off dads, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's, you know, the production values have gotten better, but uh, it, it's not really causing the violence that people think it might. So why do you think people are so concerned about violence in video games and not so much about watching a movie where everyone's killing one another? Um, I think they think of it as a training simulation. Like if they practice killing, why they'll grow up to be killers. Uh, the, the studies show nothing of the sort is true. Uh, while it might insensi insensitize people to violence a little bit, if you actually look at the stats, it's gone down as games have taken off. Well, there, there may be so many things going on that may uh, desensitize yeah. uh, some people around violence, about sex, about other things. But tell me more about your uh, your industry and, and what you're passionate about within the video game industry. Well, I, you know, we're hitting a sort of a new golden era. Um, the, a lot of the companies out there, if, if you make a game to completion, um, they give you 70% royalties. Uh, so nowadays you can actually ship a game that does very modest sales and it turns into quite a lot of money. Uh, so you know, it's, it's an unprecedented opportunity to just be creative. Um, there's lots of new technology out there that makes making games easier than ever. Uh, I'm very excited about that. I, I taught a class last year uh, to students that had never shipped a game before. Uh, I taught them how to ship a game a week. Uh, and then I hired my best students over the summer, uh, who, like I said, never shipped a commercial game, uh, to make a, uh, an iPad game. And we all sort of banded together to make a game called Band Together. Uh, and this is a little character from it, it's called a bandy. Uh, and we made it out of all uh, items uh, that were sort of found art, cardboard and thumbtacks and things like hot glue guns, things like this. Um, and. Uh, we're about to launch it, so I'm, I'm keen to get the word out there, promote it, and just show people that, you know, moms can actually make games with their kids now if they want. Now, granted, the kids should probably do the hard geeky stuff, because uh, they're, uh, frankly, they're really good at it. Uh, but there's this sort of, you know, mom can go raid the Michaels now and, and be a, an integral part of this. Well, what, one of the interesting uh, concepts that you're also bringing together is creating a game is not a, a solitary no, no, no. Uh, so, so tell us more about that collaborative spirit that comes uh, to to create all all this, and not only in the making, but also in the in the doing later on and playing. Yeah, well, <laughs> the uh, doing obviously is a lot more uh, relaxed and easy uh, than the making of them. Uh, it's pretty challenging to make games. Uh, you know, it, it's getting easier every year to to make them, but of course the bar is rising. Uh, it's getting, there's more and more competition and, and people's tastes, you know, what, what was a bad game last year is now a terrible game this year, you know, uh, and that bar keeps going up, but, um, you know, it, it's an interesting mix of technology and art and design and sound design and music, uh, and there's all these things that, uh, you know, it really is, a, a game is a relationship with a person, um, and it's done with a computer or through other players. Uh, but it's really a, a fairly high art, you know. It's uh, I, you know, it's not unlike you know, fine literature if you really get it right. So, Dave, is there anything else that you'd like to share? Well, sh sure. <laughs> Tons of it. <laughs> Tons of things. Um, gosh, I mean, I, you know, mostly I just want to get the word out there that people can do it. I, I'd love to show the game if you're interested in seeing it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so it's called, like I said, Band Together. Um, and this is sort of a, a sample level. Um, so we did everything with sort of sketch art. I actually wow. partnered with John Chalfont, who's uh, he's he's the one pro we brought to this team. So these were my best students. I was like, let's hook them up with a badass, right? And he came out of Blizzard. They made World of Warcraft. 
he works all the time with David Lynch. He's actually in Paris right now launching a new nightclub with him. Uh, so he made their game look really cool, but uh, but the principles are the same. You know, you, a lot of this, as you can see, it's it's cardboard, it's thumbtacks, it's motors, it's batteries, it's that sort of thing. Uh, but you drag these little critters, which we call bandies, because they like to band together, uh, and you try to just avoid getting smushed by these various. <laughs> we call them thumbtack death machines because uh, <laughs> we wanted it to be cute, uh, but you know we are testosterone poisoned, and we wanted it to be a little bit sick as well. Uh, but there's no blood, there's no gore. Uh, Unless it's green. Yeah, no, there's not even green blood. Uh, you know, these little guys, they look a little bit like they're made out of cardboard, so they, they stick satisfyingly to a thumbtack, but uh, like any good cardboard would. But yeah, that's how it works. It's really simple. So this is great. And how can people get a hold of uh, this application or the game, or where well, is it available? Tell actually, us. you just got a sneak preview of it. It's not out mm -hmm. yet. Uh, but uh, keep an eye out. Go to bandtogetherthegame.com. Um, and it should go up there. Uh, if you look for Band Together Game on Google, uh, you'll find more information about it too. Well, Dave, thanks for being with us today. You bet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>